guys, it's me, B2006 here, and today um, I'm going to do an updated version of my Baby Einstein toy box collection. I haven't done this in two year, in one year, so I mean, I'm going to decide to do an updated version of this. I have tons of them, which I will be showing you, and there's one box I haven't shown you in my recent upload, which will be right after all these boxes that are in front of me. So I have tons of them sitting around on my bed so yeah let's get started so hopefully you guys enjoy this so first off we're going to start with start off with is the magna light lamp so this is the box right here um so here's the logo right there so here's this front um back side the side um top and then then the bottom it's nothing's taped on so i mean i don't care the top is a little interesting because it shows the products right here. I have the middle one. I, there's a Tangerine Dream, and then there's... Oh, that's Tangerine Dream. There's Cherry Sunset. I have the middle one, which is cool. Um, I usually put this in and bring it to, to places sometimes, but it's, uh, it's cool. Like the color, color art on here. It's interesting. Here's the back. It does say Haggatry Enterprise up here. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can't see. It's up. Here. It's up here. But it does say Lava Light right there, and it's really cool. Um, I'm pretty lucky to have this, but I got mine from eBay, so it's kind of broken. But I don't care. Um, yeah, it's probably a. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but. Probably one of the most complicated toys I've ever owned. Well, it's a lamp, so yeah. Alright, next up we have is mostly another item, which is actually the wind-up hopping parrot box. So here's the front, back, side, other side, top, bottom. And the inside has a key to it right there. Because I keep it in so I won't lose the key, so I won't complain. I know I haven't made a free clip of it yet because it's gonna it's gonna jump over something, I don't know. But although it's interesting and it came from China, I think, because of its language right there, there's a native language. I don't know. I can't tell if that's Taiwanese or not. But still, this appear in world animals and it's really cool. Jumping parrot. Yep, it's really cool. A few people have this, so I don't know if they keep the box. So yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna you know I'm gonna throw it over there. Same with my Magna Light over there. Alright. Next up we have is a toy I used to own, which is actually extremely rare, but the exact one by a company called Manticot, which is actually my seagull pendulum. I actually kept the box for like five years, and that's surprising because I got mine from Office Playground when it existed. So here's the front, back, side, other side, top, bottom. It doesn't say the manufacturer, but it is actually Matticot. Here's the dolphin section. And mine was actually right here. That's the exact one from Baby Van Gogh. The rest is actually different. It does say mobile. And there's some prototypes on here. This existed. I don't know if this existed. But it, although it's still cool, but I'm the first one to own the exact one. And then the Ishiguro ones on eBay still. Although I didn't took gate um although I didn't take good care of the actual toy, which is sad, so I got a dolphin. Not from this, but by Ishiguro, which I'll show you. But even though it's really cool. I'm really lucky to have I used to be lucky to have this. So yeah. It's a little ruined, but I don't care. Alright. Alright, next up we have is actually one kind of a common toy, one of a kind toy, which is actually the Atom Kinetic Box. Um, it is actually a common. Um, this one's from the UK, so Sam has this one. So here's the front, back, side, other side, top, bottom, and there's nothing in the inside, but in what's cool about this box is actually it tells you in different languages. I don't know if this, I think this might be um, Spanish. Back is actually English. Um, this one might be German. And, yeah, only two languages. Um, Spanish and German. Okay. 
Um, although it's a cool toy and it's not exact. Everyone gets the silver version. Yeah. Um, I, I forgot to say, a few people have never done this collection before, so I decided to do it again. So, yeah. Alright, next up we have is another one of these toys, which is actually the Dolphin Kinetic Art box. So, I mean, technically it's a non b related toy, but it's still cool to show. But here's the front. Wait, oh yeah, here's the front, which doesn't show anything. It does say Japan. Here's the back. Side. Dolphin. Another side. Top. And the bottom. I think it does have something inside. I forgot. I can't grab it out, but it's still cool. Um, it's, a, it's the there's a price. Wait. Yeah, there's nothing in it. So I mean, yeah. Oops. Yeah, there's nothing really in it. So that's kind of sad. But I don't care. Well, Ortigiri is that this is from 1980, but Ortigiri was actually an Ishiguro company. So I mean, yeah. It's very cool though. So. Yeah. Alright, next up we have is actually one of my favorite toys of all times. I've The very first favorite toys I actually got from M42, which is actually the Trilusion box. So it's probably one of my favorite toys ever. So here's the front. Well, here's the front. Back. Side. Other side. Top. And the bottom. It... This is... This is actually, um... I think this is actually Italian, so, um, I think this might be, yeah, this might be French. Yeah, I don't know. It does say Agora Imports right there. Agora Import, which is actually a common company who distributed Carlisle Kinetics. So here, so as you can see, there's no Carlisle, you know, logo right there, but still a Carlisle item within the box texture. So here's the actual version, the exact, and then here's the extremely rare one that appeared in a ripoff. And yeah, it's really cool. The back is the same thing. 9 volt battery. So yeah. It's from Baby Mozart, so I'm really lucky to have it. I really am lucky. Um a few people have this, but it's without but I think theirs is without a box, so I don't I don't really care, but it's still cool. Alright. Yeah, it's a little it's kind of damaged nowadays, so I don't care. But it's still, it's still in good condition. Alright, next up we have is a box I haven't shown you yet, which is actually pretty interesting. Which is actually to my Run Giraffe Run Kinetic. Um, it is actually pretty interesting, because actually the, the front cover is interesting within the font. Prescott, Prescott Kinetic Sculpture Collection. So here's the front. Back, side, other side, top, and the bottom. The top actually shows the Carlisle logo, which was in, which was in Nevada. Here's the thing, and the back is a little interesting because it tells you about his life and all that, the what he makes. Here's a picture of him with his dog and all that, and then his kinetic art in the background. And there's his signature right there. And right over here on the side, you have the item right there, which is cool. In the inside, I actually kept all of the, the stuffing to it, so as you can see. And I forgot to show you the tag. So here's the tag. The Kinetic of Wizardly of Prescott. Here's the inside. It tells you about the Kinetic Art. And there's that. And there's Carlisle. And here's the instructions. Oh, there's a piece of hair. Sorry about that. So here's the instructions. And then here's the inside within all the, the stuffings and all that. I'm still keeping this. It's really interesting though. I really am lucky to have it. Um, it's although a it was although the eighty dollars. So I mean that's pretty one hundred ish. I don't know. But it's still a very unique toy. So yeah. Um, you could still buy these from eBay. So yeah. Um, it's really interesting the way you see it, and not even a bad item. So that's it for that. Alright, next up we have is an Ishiguro toy I actually want to review, which is actually pretty rare. Which is actually a musical land. Um, it is in Japanese, so here's a, I think this is the front, the back, side, 
other side, top, and the bottom. And it does say Ishiguro right there. And, oh wow, it, well, I don't know why it says Taiwan, but the language is Japan, so it's, Jap it's Japanese. There's Ishiguro, and there's the item, Musical Land, in Japanese. Yeah. It's really interesting, though, I guess. Um, here's, I don't know why there's a rep, but there's the, I think that might be the code right there. I don't know where it, come, it came from, but I don't, I don't really care. It's so cool, though. But I'm still lucky to have this. A few people have it, but, yeah. Got mine in a big lot, so yeah. Alright. So next up we have is a golden, it's a golden rare item, which I actually want to show you again. Which is actually the bugs on the run. I really appreciate this toy, so this is the box. And please do not ask about the third bug right there that is it gonna is it like saying like this is it gonna be fixed or all that do not say those in the comments i will eventually fix it all right please be patient about that all right i don't want it i don't want any any stupid people saying that all right but anyways let's get on to the review with the box so here's the front back side other side the top and the bottom and here's the Pacific Innovations logo. Oops. Oh, God. I don't have a good tripod, but I don't care. Does it say 1998? 1998. Alright, open this. Here's the inside. There's a bug, which will be fixed eventually. And here's the thing. And then here's the instructions right there. It does say 1998 on the instructions, too. Um, it's all though cool and pretty lucky to have it. Um, I don't know why it actually says KB recommends Panasonic Alkaline batteries, but, I mean, technically that's something. Ages 3 and over, it says up here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it says right there. But it's still cool, though. Bugs on the run. Alright. Alright, next up we have is actually a toy I actually had for a long time, which is actually from the lot. And that's actually the Discovery Toys Hide Inside Sensory Cube that's similar to the exact one from Batat from Baby Mozart. So here's the front, back, side, other side, top, and the bottom. It does say Discovery Toys, but what's surprising is that this box is from 1999, and my product I have is actually 1993. Here's the inside. Here, let me open it. Here's the inside. Nothing in it, but I mean, yeah. Still in good condition, but although it's really cool. It does say something right here, which I will not read. But it's still cool. I mean, luckily, a few people... I mean, Nathan actually has the same one as me, so, I mean, I guess it's close. Yeah, I don't know. Jagger has a um, a different one that's by a different brand, so, I mean, yeah. Forgot which brand, but it's still cool. Alright, next up we have is actually a, li a liquid motion toy box, which is actually the Living Color one. It's by Sunstar Industries, so here's the front, back, side... Other side, top, and the bottom. The bottom says it's 2002 by Sunstar, Sunstar Industries. And here's the products. I have that one, and that's a rare one. Living Color Motion Art. It's really cool. And, yes, it's really it's pretty rare nowadays. It was on eBay when it, when it was common, but I think it's rare nowadays. But it's still cool, though. So, yeah, pretty lucky to have it. A few people have it, but I don't know about the box, but yeah, it's still cool though. Oh, Alright, so next up we have is actually another tow bar kinetic I actually got from eBay, which is actually the Wave Spinner kinetic. It's by, it's another, it's another Hawkins Bazaar kinetic, so here's the front, back, side, other side, um, top, and the bottom. It does have, it does have it in different languages, like... The side, I think this might be, it's, I think this one on the side might be French. The back is actually English, and then the side is actually German. 
Yep. Or maybe Hungarian. I don't know. But it's really cool, though. Um, this is the most only common form kinetic of all times. Yep. Battery art operated moving desk sculpture. Yep, this is found in the UK. Sam has a box to it, so yeah. Alright. So, I that's it for that one. So, next up we have is... The... The... Dolphin Ball Game box. So, here's... So, I mean, here's the front, I guess. The back. The side. The other side. The top and the bottom. The bottom's really weird, because I don't know what these are. But it does say Swingmobile. Swingmobile and Swingmobile on the side. It's for ages 8 and older. And includes 190 battery. I don't know if anyone has this version of the product, but, I mean, who cares? But it's still cool, though. I'm, I'm probably a little lucky to have this. But, yeah. It, it, you could find these on eBay, but, I mean, yeah. Go ahead and then look up Rocking Dolphins Kinetic or so. But it's really cool. Mine's made out of glass, so, I mean, yeah. Um, a few people have it. Um, Mr. Ten has the Golden Island one, and I have an unknown one. Which is cool. Alright, next up we have is actually a pretty, very common toy, which is actually the Cosmos Kinetic I got for Christmas in 2019. So here's the front, the back, in, Ch in Chinese, side, the side, top, and the bottom. There's the Chinese, um, it's by Science Geek, which is cool. Yeah, it's Chinese, so yeah. Um, it's pretty cool though, so I mean, this is the only, technically the only common toy that appeared in Baby Einstein, in Galileo. It's still cool though, you can find these on Amazon, but, you know, I broke mine back in 2019, which is sad. Alright, so that's it for that. Alright, next up we have is actually another toy which actually appeared in Baby Bach, which is actually... The Jupiter Kinetic Box, which is a, technically the Neptune Art Motion Mobile. Um, here's the front, the back, the side, the side, the top, and the bottom. It's a little ripped, but I don't care. I put tape on it, so, I mean, it won't have problems broken. And it's a little ripped, I don't care. Yep, the inside's damaged, but, yeah. It's still cool, though, it's in good condition, kind of. Um, Neptune is pretty common on Amazon sometimes, but you could only rarely find it. So yeah, um, this is actually pretty, pretty unique. I actually have it, but I broke, you know, I, you probably remember me breaking the arm, but yeah, it's still in good condition though. Alright, next up we have is actually another item which I actually got from the Science Center, which is actually the revolving call, um, helicopter box. So, I mean, here's the front, the back, side, other side, top, and the bottom, made in Taiwan, and here's the Golden Island code, and there's the Golden Island, um, there's the Golden Island logo. Here's the inside. This is the most com these are the most only common Golden Island toys you can find at science stores and all that. It's still cool, though. I mean, technically, I have the Happy Circle by Golden Island. Yeah. I I threw out the Golden Island um, Happy Circle box, and yeah, that's kind of sad. Although I, I have a Liquid Motion Timer box, but that doesn't count. Well, from Galileo, but that doesn't count for some reason, so yeah. Alright, let's get on to the other one. So next up we have is actually another commonly Liquid Motion toy, which is actually the Spiral Timer. Um, although it's cool. So here's the front. The back, the side, other side, top, and the bottom. Doesn't say what manufacturer it is, but it does say Trade Opia, so I think that might be the company. And here's the here's a pretty rare one right there, which is actually a double one. And it's really cool. Got mine from a store, along with the sand art timer. Yep. Pretty unique. Um, a few people have it, so I mean, a lot of people have it. 
All right, I have more boxes over here, so let's move on to um, this one right here, which is actually the motion lamp um, by Rabbit Snaka. There's the exact one, and I have that one. So here's the front, the back, side, other side, the top, and the bottom. It the bottom says um, 2000 Rabbit Snaka. So I mean, that's cool. Motion lamp, contemporarily, and it's pretty cool. Um, got mine for Christmas, and these are common on Amazon if you want to get one. This is only this color only. This one's extremely rare. This one's also very rare, but this one's a common one. But yeah, it's really cool though, so I mean, technically, you could find this. Um, Leo has this one too. Um, I don't know if anyone has this one, but it's really cool. I'm just going to be honest. All right. All right. Next up, we have is actually I kind of, kind of you might get confused, but when you see this, it's not just a package. It's not okay. It's not a package, right? It's not something inside. But here's the inside. Here's the inside. But it's not that. It's actually the Ferris wheel box. All right. This might be weird, but yeah. An authentic rep reproduction of the classic tin toy made of the late 50s, me in Germany. So here's the front, the back, side, other side, the top, and the bottom. Nothing's in the inside, so it's pretty cool and unique. I got mine from eBay, and that's interesting. But yeah, no one else has this, ex this one version. So I mean, I'm kinda lucky, but whatever. All right, let me move my boxes over here so I won't, you know, have a fit. All right, next up we have is actually a toy I got one week ago, which is actually the Dizzy Kitty box. So, I mean, technically, yeah, it's cool. So here's the front, the back, side, other side, the top, and the bottom. The bottom is, you know, made in Indonesia, and there's the cracks on it. And this one, the inside, is actually has the instructions. And I don't know what this stands for. T-A? I don't know. It's all the cool, though. So, I mean... Yeah. Got mine from eBay. The Crazy Little Radio Controlled Kitten. Yep. It's really cool. Really lucky to have it. Alright, next up we have is actually another toy I actually have. Which is actually not from really from Baby on Scent, but it is similar. Which is actually the DNA Mobile. Which is Kinetic Mobile, so, I mean, yeah. Here's the toy. So here's the front, the back, side, other side, um, the top, and the bottom. Dancing Nova DNA. You can find this on eBay, but, I mean, it's good. It's for your own good, so yeah. It swirls, it twirls, it swirls, it whirls, it twirls. It's battery operated. I have it up in my windowsill cool conversion converse, conservational entertaining soothing dancing dna brings a smile of amazement it's really cool i really i like how the the text is actually con connected to this because of how sympathetic it is you know that's interesting it's made by someone but i mean technically it's really cool not i don't know what company made this but here, it does say this. I don't know. Copyright law? Yeah. It's cool, though, but, I mean, it's common. So, yeah. All right, next up we have is another kinetic toy, which is actually a box, which is actually an old representation of an English company, well, a U United Co Kingdom company, which is actually the Cosmos Kinetic Rings from Mozart by the Gadget Shop. So, here's the front. The back, side, other side, the top, which says the gadget shop, which is made by the gadget shop, and the bottom. I got this for Christmas, and I'm so glad. But even though it's it's pretty rare, and you can find this only on eBay sometimes, yeah. Jagger, I think, got two of them, so, I mean, I don't know why, but, yeah. But although... This is not really exact, but it, it might be. I don't know. 
the one that's been on eBay is the exact one. It's really cool. Yeah, that's it for that one. Um, I think I'm the first one to own that one, so yeah. Alright, so, um, I'm gonna bring my other boxes over here because I think they're getting further away. So yeah. I have a few more boxes to show you, so yeah. Alright, here is the Luma Series Kinetic, which is actually a Matscott Kinetic, which is similar to the ADLP, um, um, glow in the dark black light reactive mobile. So here's the front, the back, side, other side, the top, and the bottom. It says Matt's caught in 1997. Spencer's Gifts. Kinetic Form S. And it's really interesting because no one else really has this. Um, Jagger had a 4ML version of this, but his was a broken motor, and he sold it, and someone got it from Las Vegas. And yeah, that's cool. Alright, so that's it for that one. So, yeah. Alright, next up we have is actually a exact toy I actually have, which is from Baby Galileo, which is actually the Space Chase. So, this one's the 1997 box. So, I have the 1985 representation toy. So, I mean, here's the front, the back, side, other side, the top, and and the bottom it's really cool the inside actually has actually has this which goes along the toy but I mean technically yeah I could show you the date I think it's on here in the back it's actually right here it says 1997 so my actual product was made in 1985 so that's kind of a mix up but it's still cool though so I mean could have existed back then or whatever all right let me just do something real quick so let me just grab out my um, ambi toy box which is actually cool all right it was in the it was in the box i'll show you in a second or right after this one come on all right All right, so next up we actually have is a Baby Einstein product, which is actually this. This goes, this belongs to my Symphony Sounds Pals from Baby Mozart. So here's the front, the back, side, the side, the top, which is nothing, and the bottom, which actually shows something. Um, I'll probably repair it when I put new batteries in it. And here is Beethoven the Giraffe. There's baby with the toy and there's that here's two other products that actually exist and this was made in 2004 so i mean yeah this is what i keep for the thing when we move but which will be cool luckily i actually kept this but it's still cool though baby einstein and all that yeah it's really interesting so i mean you can actually find them on ebay i guess but yeah it's still cool though all right, next up we actually have is another Kinetic toy, which is actually a different company, so here's this. All right, I don't have this, but I have something similar, which is actually the Altair right here. I have this one. So here's the front, the back, side, other side, the top, and the bottom. All right, so the, the, the logo may seem like a going around item, so I might be friends with them, but I don't know. The box is a little damaged now, so I mean, this is damaged, everything is damaged, but I don't really care. It's still, the top is in good condition. So here's one of the items, there's Red Ball Cosmos, there's Cosmos, Dolphin, Dolphin Silver, Red Ball, well, Red, Space Shuttle, and there's Space Shuttle. Really interesting, really interesting combination of all things. Um... I have I have it right there. It's still cool though. It's not made by going around, but it is a Dilly International toy. It's pretty cool. All right, sorry about that. My dad came in, but um, yeah, I had to pause the video for a second. So I have four boxes left. I have four boxes left. So let's start with the big one. So I actually have the exact. Um, Hoberman spear ball, so I mean, here it is. There's a kid with it, so here's the front, back, side, um, 
the other side, the the top, and the bottom. I actually got mine from the old toy store that existed. So, I mean, it's the exact one, which is cool. The classic Hoberman invention. I'm pretty lucky. I'm very lucky to have this, but I mean, you could actually find this on eBay or Amazon. It's made by Hoberman Designs, but I mean, technically, it's really cool. Alright, just let me fix this and I'll be done. Alright, that's it for that. Alright, next up we actually have is a, a baby, uh, is a LN toy, which is actually the 10 in the box by Ambi Toys. Here's a picture of it. So here's the front, the back, side, other side, the top, and the bottom. It's empty in the inside. It does have a few toys like the man, one man band from Root World of Rhythm. And then there's the, the twin rattle. And I think I have the twin rattle. Oh, yeah. I actually have more boxes up there. I have one more container. But, I mean, I can't grab it out at the moment. I'm going to do probably do part two tomorrow. Which will be interesting. But although this is going to be my only video for tonight, I'm going to grab out the other container tomorrow. Hopefully, yeah. Alright, I have two more boxes, so last, well, I guess last second but not leastly is the Lamaze Stacking Ring Box. The 2001 version. So here's the front, the back, side, the other side, the top, and the bottom. It does say 2001 by Learning Curve. Um... On the side, it does actually include this toy from Shakespeare, which is really rare. And the inside includes the guide in there, which I won't be grabbing out in a moment. And the box is a little damaged, but it's in great condition. But although, I am really lucky to have this. Um, Koala has the exact one, and Cameron has the exact one and all that, which is cool. <sighs> yeah. Really lucky to have it. Alright. Um, Sage does have the 2001 version as mine, so yeah. Last but not leastly, we actually have one more item, which is actually the Ambi Toys, my baby's first car. So here's the front, the back, the side, the other side, the top, and the bottom. I got this off on eBay, UK, which I think is interesting. So, I mean, yeah, here's the item. All right, so that is occasionally it. As you can see, if I take off my tripod, yeah, there's my set. I have all of them over there now. So, I mean, yeah, they were over here, but I cleared it out, and now they're over there. So, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching for my bigger version of the collection of all Baby Einstein boxes. So please stay tuned for the um, the newer ver the newer video tomorrow. So the the tubes are actually up there. So yeah. So please like and share this with friends. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys stay tuned for the video tomorrow. Bye.